Rises in North Queensland for years is underway near Townsville. Chris Campy joined the troops. Multiple enemy positions, heavy fire. This is grassroots warfare. So the enemy are on a series of three hills in front of us. They've dug in deep. Snipers pick off targets as the machine guns pepper a position two kilometres away. From the air, attack choppers do the rest. The bullets are real, the danger close. Only with live ammunition can you simulate real war. This exercise has been a year in the planning as their involvement in Afghanistan winds down. Two and a half thousand troops are preparing for future roles. We've been focused on the type of operations that we conduct in Afghanistan for a very long time. Uh, it can have the effect of, of perhaps uh, losing skill base in other operations like jungle or conventional war fighting. In the coming months, these will be our ready to deploy forces. The Townsville based 3rd Brigade will remain deployment ready for the next 12 months until they hand over that responsibility to Brisbane's 7th Brigade. In that time, this is the closest they'll get to the real thing. On home soil at least. We're keeping them, if you like, the knife sharp in the in the kitchen drawer in case you need to whip it out and use it. A chance to test the skills many hope they never have to use. Chris Campy, 10 Eyewitness News. A thousand troops are taking part in the Army's largest live firing exercise north of Townsville. Seven local news join forces on the ground as soldiers wrap up the month-long exercise. These troops have cornered the enemy. A steady stream of sniper and machine gun fire is set to finish them off. Only with live ammunition can you simulate real war. More than 1,000 rounds were fired across the ranges. Chinooks were part of the aerial attack. Bombs from aircraft, uh, missiles uh, from ground forces, right through to individual rifles and hand grenades. Close to 2,500 troops are taking part in the Combined Arms Training, or CATA. It's back to basics battle skills, building on lessons learnt in Afghanistan. It prepares us for the work that we have to do overseas. And making sure that they can keep going, keep moving forward. Third Brigade has spread its assault across a 10 kilometre radius at high range. A lot of moving parts and a lot of sort of big hands on, on small maps. Communication is vital on the ground. The exercise is using upgraded technology for the first time since troops returned from the Middle East. You can see in a vehicle and look and see pretty much where everybody is and that's never happened before. This is the Australian Army's largest live fire exercise conducted each year. The $30 million operation has prepared Townsville's 3rd Brigade for their final 12 months as the first port of call for deployment. Today marked the climax of the month-long attack. Most of the troops will return to base tomorrow. You never know where we're going to go and you never know exactly what we're going to do. Brittany Klein, 7 News. Fire training exercise in Australia has turned an area of bush inland from Townsville into an army war field. With operations in the Middle East winding down, the focus has turned to basic soldiering skills, preparing troops for any potential scenario. From the top of the hill, troops prepare themselves for the final assault. The enemy are on a series of three hills in front of us. They've dug in deep, they had tanks, Heavy weapons. In the distance, troops moved in from the south as those on the hill helped them carve out a path. There's a consequence to this. If we get it wrong, people get hurt. So uh, the, the, uh, it's an ability to practice it and then give ourselves confidence that we can actually use our weapons safely uh, in close proximity to our troops. The action is all part of the Army's annual Combined Arms Training Activity or Exercise CATA. Exercise CATA is the largest live fire training activity in Australia and costs around $30 million. Around 2,500 troops take part, many of them from Townsville's 3rd Brigade. Units have been out in the bush for nearly a month. This year, the exercise is occurring at the same time as Air Force Exercise High Sierra, giving soldiers an opportunity to work side by side with their airborne counterparts. Working arduous hours uh, with minimal sleep, you start to see true character, and that's where 
you know, the army ethos of, uh, you know, our mateship really starts to come into play. Today was treated as a dress rehearsal for another training activity with US troops in coming weeks. Exercise Kata is giving them the chance to practice with a range of equipment, including new communications and battle management systems. So for the first time, I can see in a vehicle and look and see pretty much where everybody is and that's never happened before for me and uh, it's very very new in the Australian Army. It's activities like these which help refine the skills of troops until next year 3rd Brigade holds the status as the unit ready to deploy at a moment's notice. So we're keeping them if you like the knife sharp in the in the kitchen drawer in case you need to whip it out and use it. In coming years it's expected the Australian Defence Force will end operations in the Middle East and the focus will move to future threats in other parts of the globe. That means training activities like this will become more focused on foundation war fighting skills, essentially the basics, ensuring all are prepared for any situation. So if you were to deploy tomorrow, do you think you'd be ready? After this, absolutely. Rosanna Kingson, Win News. Amazing. Well